not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, not ashamed for his power is life, not ashamed because he gave me life, and I will continue my life. Oh, I will continue this life, not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, not ashamed cause his power give life, not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, hallelujah, I'm not ashamed. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning to you all this this wonderful morning. 4.38 in the morning here in Montego Bay, Jamaica. There's so much here to complain about. But there's so much here to give God thanks and praise about. So I'd rather give God thanks and praise than doing the complaining. If it's your first time on this channel, so if it's so... I'd love for you to subscribe, to press that notification bell. And to all my listeners and subscribers, I really thank you for your patience and endurance. And as we all say here, now this is Dawn's Brown TV. And I would love for you to continue supporting this channel, share it, comment, and let me know if you're enjoying what I'm doing. God bless you too. Yes, despite all the mishaps and everything that's going on down here, I must truly thank God for life and life in abundance. Of all the virus that are going on and everything, life still continues. And though you might not get your opportunity when you say you want it, but I believe and I trust God enough to know that He will provide for you. Yes, sometimes you have to look like you're in the wilderness to see the mystery of God. And just remember the days when the Israelites were, after they've crossed over Jordan, over the Red Sea, all those places, what took place when they get on the other side. Don't feel left out. Don't feel discouraged. God is doing what he knows to do the best that man cannot fathom he is God indeed oh yes you got to learn to trust Christ trust his word don't listen to what the people say listen to what the Spirit of God is saying to you this morning some may not wake up before the course of the days others may not live to see but you are still alive and well enjoying the freedom of happiness that the Spirit of God gives to you. Protect yourself. Don't just run out there and do everything. Protect yourself. Be honest with yourself. Love yourself enough to know that you will take care of yourself. And in all these things, you will come through. Enjoy life. Don't you don't have to go out there. Many of you are at home and you are having nervous mental breakdown because you find yourself confined. Have you ever thought what a confinement in your life can do for you? It can generate you to a much better person that you are. It can uplift your spirit if you allow it to. Motivate you that by the time things began to regulate again, you will find that you are energetic. You are free of a lot of stuff. Sometimes you can even lose weight. For those who want to lose weight, you can, you can find that your ideas are more creative. Come on, folks. Stop putting yourself down and start listening to the power of God and tell yourself that in Christ, you are a new creature. All things have passed away and all things becomes new. Once again this morning, I just want to tell you that the Lord loves you. 
rejoice and be glad in it and be hopeful and truthful and honest in all your doings and in this time when everything is going on around you protect yourself keep those distances and make sure that you sneeze in your elbow you wear your mask and protect yourself because in protecting you you're protecting others look after your children and be mindful of the things you do God bless you this morning. Grace and peace.